What's going on everybody? It's Ollie from Flight Comp and today I'm going to give you a close look at the new Vertigo F5J model from uh, GCM made in Poland. The Vertigo is one of the latest generations of F F5J models to be um, designed and produced and it has several unique features that I like very much and I'd like to share with you today. Um, this model has been in development for the past two or more years and has gone through uh, several uh, prototypes and uh, design iterations uh, along the way. And it has been uh, thoroughly tested and uh, now finally we are in production or GCM is in production with the Vertigo. I'll quickly give you a general overview of the parts right now and then we'll take a closer look at each individual part. First off, we have a beautiful center panel. This is a three-piece wing model. It has very large flaps. This center panel is hollow molded, so a more traditional type construction. Um, we found that using a solid core center panel resulted in uh, heavier weights and uh, uh, weaker parts. So for the volume of foam required for a center panel, GCM thought that a hollow part would give the uh, best strength to weight ratio for the for the vertigo so this is a hollow part moving on we have a tip panel which is solid core row cell so it has a row cell machined foam core inside nice stripes on the bottom we have the elevator Again, this is a solid core elevator. And then we also have a solid core rudder. Moving on, we have the nose pod. This is a two-piece uh, fuselage design. The boom, the pod has a very nice shape and it has plenty of room inside for all your gear. So it, it is not a cramped installation. some of the detail of the wing saddle area and then we have the boom right here of the two-piece fuselage this is where your rudder and elevator servos go and the wing goes up here the rear wing bolt attaches the boom to the pod so it simplifies assembly and reduces the amount of screws needed to put the model together. At the rear end of the boom, we have a quick attaching elevator with a quick link on it and a, uh, a rudder that mounts via two posts and two long screws secure everything together through the bottom. Here are the uh, a pair of high degree wing joiners. You get two pairs of wing joiners, a, a five degree and seven degree. Look how beefy and wide these joiners are. These are incredibly durable uh, yet light wing joiners. So I don't think you'll have any problems or issues breaking wing joiners on hard landings with the Vertigo. Real quick, uh, this is a standard or light model, and I'll give you some of the uh, parts weights for this model. So this is a good representation of what the production parts uh, will be as far as weights go. Um, the elevator is 29 grams. The rudder is 25 grams. This fuselage pod is 75 grams. The boom with the push rods is 63 grams. The tip is 140 grams center panel is 343 grams a pair of joiners coming in at 24 grams with a total of 839 grams empty weight of course you will be adding you know miscellaneous screws and glue and everything when you assemble but a very very light airframe okay so now I'll give you a closer look at some of the parts so here is the uh, Vertigo center panel. Again, it's a hollow molded part. It is not solid core. I'll flip it over. This is the saddle detail where it mates to the fuselage. It has a pre-installed uh, DB9 connector and the wiring is already installed um, in the center panel for your servos. 
Uh, it mounts using three bolts, one, two, and three. Uh, the, other the other two holes are just for uh, production purposes. Uh, they're not used um, when assembling or flying the model. Here is the uh, flat bay. As you can see, it has uh, the wiring already installed with uh, the connector for the flap. And we also have the wire here for the uh, tip or aileron servo. This plane has uh, epoxy wipers. They're fairly small right here. It doesn't have um, tape or um, mylar wipers, so more traditional uh, epoxy wipers. Hinges are made with Kevlar. You can see it has a nice fairing um, on the rear or trailing edge and the uh, leading edge to mate to the fuselage. Very large flaps, slows down very, very well, uh, good in the landing zone. Um, very responsive elevator, even with um, full flap def deflection. This part is extremely high quality. The finish is very nice. And uh, one of the really nice features of this model is that the all the leading edges on all the surfaces are reinforced with carbon toe. So it has very strong leading edges on the center panel tips and tail. And um, that just means it's a little more durable and maybe you could survive a mid-air collision a little bit better than some of the other models on the market. So there's a quick look at the center panel. Okay, moving on to a tip panel. Again, we have a solid core uh, row cell machined part with your typical um, spread toe carbon skins. The aileron bay is extremely close to the root of the tip panel, uh, which is uh, better for weight distribution, keeps the uh, very outer portions of the tip light because your servo is inboard. Uh, you can see the big joiner opening for that uh, wing joiner, and we have carbon fiber alignment pins front and back, bottom hinged. You do have to install your own uh, aileron horn which is supplied with the kit and cut a slot in the top surface to run your wire and make an L bend into the uh, aileron horn. So a little bit of information about the uh, servo installation. You get supplied with the kit a um, fiberglass bed and what this does is this goes into the uh, servo bay before you glue your aileron servo in so this would go into the bay first and then you would glue uh, your servo or your servo in your frame on top of that and then you would um, cover all that up with this uh, carbon fiber servo cover now you do want to scuff up this fiberglass piece front and back before you install it and use a very uh, slow curing epoxy resin with a little bit of microballoons mixed in perhaps and use it uh, sparingly to keep the, uh, the wingtip light. You are provided with a G10 control horn very similar to other models for the aileron and a bit of wire that already is bent at one end so it would look something like this when installed and you'd have a slot in your wing and this wire would run through it and you would make another L bend at your servo. So there is a Vertigo wing tip. Oh, one quick note, uh, finish quality of these solid core parts is extremely nice. Very smooth and shiny with minimal um, orange peel effect. And one thing about GCM is they post cure their parts at such high temperatures and for such a long period of time that really this this finish will withstand direct sunlight for a very 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 long time um, you can have uh, a season or two of flying on this uh, surface uh, exposed directly to sunlight 
and you will not you will see no um, distortion or deformation of the surface you will however see paint fading anywhere you have a uh, neon colored paint but the actual surface itself the epoxy and the carbon will have minimal degra degradation um, with direct exposure to sunlight over time and again that's due to extreme post cure temperatures and the duration at which they uh, post cure all their parts all right moving along to the tail we have a solid core uh, elevator again with a carbon toe reinforcement on the leading edges now this elevator does not feature a fully symmetrical airfoil it is a semi-symmetrical airfoil so you have to be careful which way you install it you can install it both ways but the side with the uh, opening is up so hinge side is down and we have a uh, G10 fiberglass control horn that gets installed on the elevator like this and as you can see it has a slot in here and this is part of the uh, quick link uh, setup on the boom which makes installing the vertigo tail very easy and I have another video that goes over how to install this horn and uh, you can check it out in the uh, vertigo playlist on the flight comp YouTube channel moving on to the rudder again solid core part very nice very nice finish huge moving surface on the rudder and it is extremely effective uh, almost too effective so um, very nice rudder on the vertigo two carbon posts that go through the boom and then we have also two screws that come through the boom and attach the entire tail to the model and going with the rudder we have a uh, G10 control horn and a little bit of uh, L-bend wire and this is a very standard installation basically the horn gets installed like this and when you install the, the rudder onto the boom you simply slip the uh, horn over the L-bend uh, that's all very standard so very nice uh, tail parts Oh, one more thing to note, uh, there is a slight recess on the uh, tails and the wingtips right here along the uh, hinge line or the opposite side of the hinge line and that is a very small recess uh, for you, provided for you to install a gap seal tape. The gap seal tape is in, uh, included with the kit and it is up to you to install it if you choose to use it. Moving on to the Vertigo fuselage pod. This pod is um, also uh, post cured to very uh, high temperatures and, and cured for a long period of time. So again, it will have a outstanding surface finish for a long time, even with exposure to direct sunlight. It's pretty, pretty standard. Um, they may or may not be 2.4 friendly. I think that the production versions will basically be all carbon. So you will need to run your antennas outside of the fuselage. We have a recess here for the DB9 connector. And you are supplied uh, the other end of the connector along with some wire if you would like to use it. And you are also supplied with a tray for your receiver and these are parts uh, that make up their ballast system um, these are basically used for the strong models um, optional for the light and this receiver uh, tray is mounted in a slightly unconventional way I'm hoping to um, do a video on this uh, tray installation in the next coming days to give you guys a better look at how this goes especially in conjunction with the uh, ballast parts because it can be a little tricky but if you're building a light model and you don't want to put any ballast in it then uh, you don't need that tray at all you don't need any kind of tray in the nose actually because it's plenty strong uh, you are also supplied with a uh, 3d printed motor mount for a uh, mega motor uh, mounting pattern 
which will also work on some other motors. Uh, it's an option if you choose to use it. Uh, you don't have to. I like using the um, uh, CNC metal motor mounts myself. Nice canopy and the hole down comes pre-attached for you. Moving on to the boom. This is the back of the boom and you can see it has holes uh, for the carbon posts in the rudder and then it has two holes for the screws. Screws go through the bottom like this. They are flush mount and two screws capture the entire tail assembly onto the boom. In here there is basically a bulkhead and a U, uh, piece of U-bent uh, wire that's attached to a carbon pushrod and that makes up the other part of the uh, quick, links, quick link system for the elevator. Again, if you want to see that in more detail, uh, check out my other video. You're, also, you're supplied with two sets of screws, a pair of nylon screws which are plenty strong for any light model and a pair of metal screws which you might want to use on a stronger model or a ballasted model. Very nice boom, very nice surface quality. Again, uh, post cured for a long time at high temperature, so it'll remain looking nice for a very long period of time. Uh, carbon fiber push rods pre installed, and this is where you mount your rudder and elevator servos. You can uh, wrap them with shrink tape and just glue them in, or you could actually use servo frames and mount them like you would mount servos in a wing. I prefer servo frames because it makes replacing and servicing servos uh, so much easier than trying to pry out uh, glued servos. So there is a look at the uh, vertigo boom. This is the rudder push rod. This is where you would attach your L bend to go to the uh, rudder control horn. All right, besides the uh, airframe parts, here's a look at everything else that's included with the vertigo. Uh, we have over here some very nice um, wing and tail bags that are included with the model. Carbon fiber servo covers fiberglass um, beds for the aileron servos, two sets of wing joiners, five and seven degree, some w wiring for the fuselage and the other side of the DB9 connector, along with some uh, servo plugs and connectors if you want to use them to make your own harness. A piece of shrink tubing uh, for your rudder and elevator servos if you choose to wrap them with shrink tubing and glue them in. We have a uh, fiberglass receiver tray, fiberglass ballast mounting parts, and if you buy a strong, you also get a piece of ballast. Um, again, these are optional installation parts for the light model. We have a 3D printed jig to help you mount the elevator control horn. We have a pair of flap control horns, aileron horns, and a rudder horn. I didn't go over this on the center panel, but um, it is a hollow center panel and you're provided with these conventional mounting horns for the flaps, but since it is hollow, it lends itself nicely for an LDS system, so I would recommend instead of using these, use uh, servo ramen LDS trays and LDS or MPJet LDS hubs or come up with your own um, LDS system. Uh, you get all the L-bent pieces of wire for the wing, ailerons and flaps, a piece of wire for the uh, rudder, the optional uh, 3D printed motor mount if you want to use it, two sets of screws to hold the tail on, nylon and metal, some ball links for your rudder and elevator servos if you want to use ball links. You can also use uh, L-bends, um, wing mounting screws here and here, and uh, another two screws for the ballast system along with a thumb screw and nut for the ballast system. You get a uh, set of four 3D printed servo frames uh, with third bearings for the Bluebird BMS 115 HV servo. These are the Bluebird 115 servos. They are horizontally mounted wing servos. If you buy a Vertigo from Flight Comp, we supply you with four of these servos for the price of the model as well. So overall, a very extensive accessory or uh, hardware kit included with the Vertigo. 
That was a quick look or overview of the Vertigo F5J model from GCM, available in a light and strong version. Expect uh, light versions to fly starting at 1100 grams and strong versions to start flying at 1300 grams and up depending of course depending on equipment you use very very strong model very light very good surface finishes on all the parts very high quality model um, from GCM keep your eye on our YouTube channel in the near future because I'll be posting some uh, detailed um, build videos on the Vertigo uh, what it won't be a real long video but rather several short clips on things like how to mount the servos in the boom how to mount the elevator horn on how to mount the aileron control horns, etc. How to mount all these um, G10 fiberglass parts for the receiver tray and the ballast system. How to set up the ballast. All that good stuff. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.